Hi everyone, Tech TV here. In this video, we're gonna show you how to fix Epson device, recovery mode, or update firmware. Of this Epson EcoTank L5290 printer, the first thing you need to fix this recovery mode or to update your Epson firmware is you need a PC or laptop to execute firmware update on your device. Without further ado, let's get started. Step 1 Please turn on your printer and plug in the USB cable. Then open your control panel and go to Devices and Printers. Click View Devices and Printers. On your devices and printers, under unspecified, it must have a USB 2.0 printer detected. After plugging in your printer's USB cable, then after confirming the printer's connectivity into your PC, you can now proceed to download the printer firmware. Open your web browser, then type google.com. Then search for Epson EcoTank L5290 printer driver. Then click the first one in the list or the official Epson support website. Then select your PC operating system. Then, click Go. Just scroll down and click Firmware. Then, click Download to download the printer firmware. Click Accept. Then we have now the firmware for this Epson L5290 printer. Then, I just copy the file from my desktop. Then, just open the file to run and execute firmware update. On the first tab, just click Next to continue. Then, click I agree and click Next. And then again, click Next. Then select Firmware and click Next. And click Yes to start updating your printer firmware. When transfer completed, the system says .firmware has been downloaded to your printer. Then click Finish and wait for the printer to turn off automatically. Do not unplug or turn off your printer until it turn off automatically. Then now, we have successfully updated the printer firmware. Then, you can now turn on your printer. That's how simple it is to update your Epson EcoTank L5190 printer firmware and fix the Epson device recovery mode. If you found this video helpful to you, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe to get more tutorial updates. Thank you for watching.